Eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. Why do we hear this all the time? Today, we gonna take a look into vitamins, why our body needs them, and also we'll see if supplements are really working. Take a seat and enjoy the video. Welcome to our channel, I am Mihai Dumitrescu, IPT Skill Enhancement Trainer, Pro Basketball Coach, and NCSF Certified Sports Nutrition Specialist. Vitamins are organic molecules and essential micronutrients which an organism needs in small quantities for the proper functioning of its metabolism. Essential nutrients cannot be synthesized in the organism, either at all or not in sufficient quantities, and therefore must be obtained from the food we eat. There are 13 essential vitamins that we need for body function, which, for understanding, are broken into two categories, water or fat soluble. What is the difference? So, the water soluble vitamins are dissolved into water and readily absorbed into tissues for immediate use. Because they are not stored in the body, they need to be replenished regularly in our diet. The excess of water soluble vitamins is quickly excreted in the urine. The fat soluble ones are absorbed along with fats in the diet and are stored in the body's fatty tissue and the liver. Let's go further and see which are included in each category. Water soluble vitamins are 9 and include vitamin C and 8B complex starting with B1 and ending with B12. Fat soluble vitamins include vitamins A, D, E, and K, and as you can see there are 4 of them. Before we'll see how vitamins are used by our bodies, you have to understand they don't have any role in energy production like macronutrients, but they act as catalysts for macronutrients, and therefore one without the other will not work. Now let's see what processes vitamin contributes to in our organism. Growth and repair of body tissue. Amino acids and red blood cell synthesis. Acting as cofactors in metabolic reactions. Oxygen transport and oxidative metabolism. Immune function support. And antioxidant roles in the prevention of free radical damage. I will not list the necessary daily quantities of each one, as you can easily find this info anywhere, but I will say that vitamins are essential in the proper quantities for body function no matter the activity level, and for sports performance, they are mandatory in the right amounts. Any deficiency harms cognitive and physical performance. On the other hand, more is not necessarily better, and this will get to the second part of the video, where we will try to find out if supplementation works. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment below, or send me an email, and I will give you a detailed answer. From a vitamin intake point of view, we can have several sources. The food that we eat what is called nutrition, nutraceuticals which are made out of food or parts of foods in a laboratory, and pharmaceutical supplements are drugs, usually chemically obtained. As you could see in other videos we've made, we promote a healthy lifestyle for anyone, this including the athlete that you are or you will become, so we are obliged according to our principles, to say that nutrition is the only preferred way, as it sustains life and because it comes from life. All the vitamins you need are part of all animal products, vegetables, and fruits, and if you just take care to eat the right amounts for your needs, which will be part of another video on our channel, there is nothing to worry about. Nutraceuticals, on the other hand, can work for a short time, to help you combat any deficiency, but what you need to understand is that it shouldn't be done as a lifelong standard, and as soon everything goes back to normal, you should start a complete healthy diet. On long-term use, they will have side effects and will stop working for you, moreover, they will have the opposite effect. Pharmaceuticals are chemical compounds, which are meant to be very powerful and to interfere with or stop some of the body's processes on purpose, in a life-threatening situation. They should be used only in crises, and only by medical personnel, as they always will have side effects. I want to make a special remark for those who believe that antioxidants have to be supplemented to help the body fight against free radicals. Human antioxidants are made by our body, and they have nothing to do with plant antioxidants. However, some vitamins have also antioxidant roles, but they can be obtained from a whole food diet. Excess supplementation will interfere with the role of free radicals in oxidative stress, which is not a bad thing at all, being regulated by our body, in a healthy organism, and in the end, you will obtain the opposite effect. 
our body produces glutathione as the main and the most powerful antioxidant we need. It is made from three amino acids, glycine, glutamine, and cysteine, and our body decide the quantities and the needs for it, so taking care of the protein intake and their quality should be great. In a conclusion, even if athletes have an elevated need for vitamins, and other nutrients in general, compared with a sedentary person, all of them can be easily met by following a balanced diet, including both animals and plant sources, and consuming adequate total energy each day. Supplementation is generally not required. Our channel's goal is to give you all the tools to become an elite player, as well as a healthy individual, and we believe that nutrition is a big part of this process. So, if you've liked our video, I'm sure you will love those also, and if you truly want to find out more and more, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you will not miss any of our videos.